kids, welcome to Church Online. I am just really excited that you are joining us today. I am at the grill. Thought it'd be fun for you to kind of see me in my everyday um, kind of tasks in being a mom. Uh, so just, you know, grilling up some chicken. Hey, you know, I have I have a thought I wanted to share with you and it, and it definitely goes along with today's Bible story. Uh, we're all out for walks and all that, right? I mean, of course not when it's snowing, but when it's been beautiful out, we've been going out for walks or maybe think back to when you would walk around um, in the hallway of your classroom. Do you remember there being a time where uh, you'd maybe walk and just kind of keep your head down? Maybe just out of nervousness or out of just not knowing anyone or um, you just kind of look down. Well, the story today is going to show you the importance of looking up and looking at those around you and maybe even engaging with them in a conversation. Uh, maybe a hi or a, a how are you doing or a simple question of uh, where are you headed? So I, I'm excited for you to watch the story today and just remember when you're walking around, look up and see the people in front of you because you could meet someone pretty special or you could learn something pretty important. Hey, this Sunday, remember to hop on our virtual small groups, 10 a.m. Uh, we are looking forward to having you and gathering for our small groups again. We'll see you later. What's it like to feel humbled? Oh, that's not a word we use every day. But it's humbling when you receive a gift you didn't expect. It's humbling when someone says you don't have to pay even though you messed up. It's humbling when your dad takes an entire day off of work just to spend it with you. It's humbling when you see an incredible sunset and realize that God handcrafted it with you in mind. Wow. Being humbled makes you feel small in a good way. It makes you feel grateful. When someone chooses to put you first like that, it can make your day. So why not do that for the people around you? You can choose to give up what you think you deserve to put others first. Let your sister pick the family movie even though it's your turn. Skip the pool party so you can hang out with your friend who broke his leg and can't go. Use some of your birthday money to help a family who doesn't have enough to eat. True humility is thinking of yourself less and others more. When you live your life with humility, you bring praise to God. You lift Him high because others can see God at work in you. That's why humility is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. Hey, John, have you seen my... Wake up, John! John, wake. <laughs> ah! 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 Why are your pants on your head? Why aren't your pants on your head? My name is John. And I'm Brandon. And we'll see you next time on the So and So Show. That's right. Today we're, wait, what? <laughs> what, what? Mm. Why are the credits, what's going on? These, these credits usually come at the end of the show. Feel like we really learned a lot today, buddy. We have? No, we just started. Why are you?
Hey, what's your answer to the question of the day, Brandon? No, no, we haven't even revealed the question. That the question later. of the day is, what have you discovered about God that surprised Don't you? Don't give it away. No, no, what about Kellen, the Bible story and all that stuff? Oh. <laughs> oh. Reveal the question. What is happening, John? Everything is moving backwards. The show usually happens in the other direction. I don't know that, Brandon. But I do know this. There's nothing better than a hot and fresh apple pie. <sighs> ah. Okay, I don't know how or why, but for some reason the show is upside down right now. Everything is moving backwards. See, normally we'd start the show, maybe have a guest we talk to for a while, and then someone would say, it's Bible story time with Kellen. And Uh, can one of you please explain what's happening? Is everything moving backwards for you too? Yes. Just look at the so-and-so show players. <laughs> you see what I mean? Oh man, it's worse than I thought. Yeah, do, do you have any advice? No. But I do have an idea. Do you think that'll work? I don't know. Let's see. It worked! Great! What's our story today, Kellen? Our story today was written down by a guy named Luke in a book we now call Luke. He wrote about two followers of Jesus who were walking on the road to a village called Emmaus. I woke up this morning and for a moment I was happy. I'd forgotten about all the things that had happened. But then I remembered. I can't believe he's gone. I, I, I don't even know what to do now. My whole world is turned upside down. <laughs> As they were walking, a man they didn't recognize came up and walked alongside them. What's up? Hello! What are you talking about as you walk along? You know, just all the stuff that's been going on in Jerusalem with Jesus. Are you the only person visiting Jerusalem who doesn't know about the things that have happened these last few days? What things? About Jesus of Nazareth. He was a prophet! He was powerful in everything he said and did. We really thought he would be the one to set our people free. Yeah, but then our rulers had him arrested and sentenced to die. <laughs> they nailed him to a cross! And now it's the third day since he died. But then... <clears throat> then... We were told that our friends went to Jesus' tomb and it was empty. Somebody must have stolen the body. <gasps> Mary and the others said that, that there were angels. I, I know, and but... the uh, angels uh, said that Jesus was still alive. We really want to believe it's true, but how could it be? <sighs> they walked on, still very confused and sad. They had no idea that the man walking with them was actually Jesus himself. How foolish both of you are. Excuse me? How long it takes you to believe what the prophets said? Didn't the Messiah have to suffer these things and then receive his glory? I mean, I guess. We're a little rusty on what the prophet said. Then, Jesus explained everything that was said about himself in scripture, rewinding all the way back to Moses and the prophets. It was like God had planned for this all along. Wow, it makes so much sense now. You sure know a lot about Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, here we are. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Do you have to keep walking? I have so much more to ask. It's getting dark. You could stay the night with us. Join us for dinner, at least. Okay. Oh, All right. Super. <laughs> I make great bread. So the man they thought was a stranger, but really was Jesus, joined them for dinner. And when Jesus gave thanks and broke bread, they finally recognized him. No way! It's Jesus! 
but then Jesus disappeared from their sight. Did you? Was he? I did, and he was. Oh, I knew there was something special about him. The way he taught us about the prophets and Moses. We were so excited on the road, weren't we? We have to go back to Jerusalem and tell everyone. They'll never believe us. We have to try. When they got to Jerusalem, they told the 11 disciples what had been hard for them to believe, but what they knew to be true. What God had known would happen all along, that Jesus had come back from the dead. He was alive. The end. Hey, great job, so-and-so show players. Uh, Oh, no, no, they're going backwards again. (laughs) I couldn't resist. Cool story, Kellen. Isn't it, though? Those two on the road thought they understood what was going on. Then God goes and does something completely impossible by bringing Jesus back from the dead. I always think it's surprising how God's plan works out. I know, but God plans for things like thousands of years in advance. How could we ever understand? We probably can't, but it helps to kind of rewind and see how God has made things work out in the past. That way, even if bad things happen or things we don't understand, we can trust that someone who is bigger and smarter than we are has got things under control. I wonder if God's got one of these. Probably not. Yeah. His is probably way bigger. Sure. Whoa, it's Bible story time with Kellen. Whoa, 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 oh, boy. No. I'll leave you to Wait, it. You Bye. Can't... Wow, that someone who knows stuff was amazing. Makes me want to bake a pie. I don't even know how to deal with you right now. Thanks for having me. Bye. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, hey, that's all the time we have today. Felina, thanks for coming on the show. Well, I think the best thing to remember is that even if your pie recipe doesn't turn out the way you expect, you can still have fun baking it. (laughs) Mmm, that's yummy. Any advice for someone out there who might want to learn how to bake a pie? Uh, I still don't know why this is happening. Oh, you know, apple, Mm. cherry, pecan, strawberry rhubarb, Mm. all the classics. But hey, I don't have to know everything, right? Huh, I'll have to try that. Hey, what are your favorite pies? Sometimes it's better to be surprised. (laughs) Oh, yes! (laughs) Oh, there's no right or wrong way to eat a pie, but I like to just pick up a nice warm pie and just smash it in my face. Uh, I know we already did this, but... You know, I've always wondered, what's the best way to eat a pie? Reveal the question! What have you discovered about God that surprised you? My name is Felina Tossi, and I make pies. Oh, well, welcome to the show! Who are you and what do you know? It could be something that you've read about God in the Bible, or it could be something that God has done in your own life. Welcome. Good to see you. Talk about it together, and we'll see you again, hopefully right side up this time, on The So-and-So Show. And I'm John. We know who you are, John. Welcome to The So-and-So Show. And action. Mm. Right, guys, here we go. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Ow. Marking. Loud. Rolling. So what are you doing after the show? I'm going to replace the batteries in this remote. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, mm. that was good. Mm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, what do I have to do to get some coffee around here? Hey, John, are you ready to start the show? Now I'm confused. 